What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube Hour. This pack is fucking bananas. Mind Twist, Silver Library, Emrakul, Gristlebrand, Fable, Sail into the West. Those are all the bangers. What? And the earth do we take here? I do like an Emrakul. I like a Gristlebrand. You're going to disappoint a little Stewie. I just know it. No, I would never do that. Uh, is it Gristle Brand? I think it might be Gristly Bristle. That guy is beautiful. I think reanimate decks are better than Through the Breach decks, but I like Through the Breach decks too. But if I'm reanimating something, I, I can reanimate Gristle Brand, but not Emrakul. But then again, if we're black, is Mind Twist just better than Gristle Brand? Probably. Is Fable just good? Yeah, we're just taking Mind Twist. And then we can follow it up with a Time Spiral. Oh, that's pretty good. So now we can try to build around this a little more with like a Leovold or a Narset or a Hull Breacher. Every time I say Hull Breacher, my brain is like bre Breacher or Breaker. Yeah, we're going to go with Time Spiral here. I like an Atali. I also like these cards with Atali because it kind of makes me want to reanimate. Um, yeah, Atali's pretty bananas. Nothing that's going to contribute to a time spiral, though. Yeah, I'm just taking the Atali. Kithian it, it is underwhelming, but if you're playing like the mono white deck, it's usually fine. That's the thing. It's underwhelming for the degenerates, but if you're just doing like the, the mono white, um, like mana, like the kind of death and taxes type deck, it's, it's just fine. <sighs> Might just be charter course. Charter course lets us discard for reanimate. Graveyard trespasser is just a good guy. Tenacious underdog is interesting. Yeah, I'm just taking charter course. I do like a good chart, of course. More like fart, of course, am I right? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Ooh, time, time Warp and Goldspan Dragon. And a Torsten, if we are reanimating things. Hmm. Hmm. What could it be? We could just be red black too, or red 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 blue, but also mind twist. So, I think we're just going with time warp here. Jace, wielder of mysteries, damnation is interesting. Bone crusher, giant. Hmm. I kind of just want to try this Jace out. Okay, we'll take the Jace. I clicked it before I gave myself a chance not to click it. Tap a cannoneer, improvise so your artifacts tap it. So ca improvise is just convoke for artifacts. Uh, but they're an artifact. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you get a, this guy gets a counter and it can't be blocked. I don't think we're there. Although I would absolutely love to try this guy. I think he's very sweet. Um, and he has ward four, which is basically like indestructible. <laughs> uh, I think we're just taking deep cavern bat. I think we're blue black and we're going to try to reanimate things eventually. <laughs> Who knows? Card Gabba Gabba. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, that's funny. You're a funny guy. I appreciate your funniness. I do like Beseech. Triple Black is a bit rough, though. 
I also like Thran Dynamo, especially with Time Spiral or Atali. So I'm going to take the Thran Dynamo here. I put Beseech in my cube as well because I just think the ability, there's so many combos that require a combo piece that costs four or less and the ability of Beseech to just get that piece and put it right into play so you can combo with it. And Gristlebrand came back. So did Sylvan Library for Lil Stewie. Oh, it's gotta be Gristlebrand though. I'm sorry, Lil Stewie, I love you. Yeah, Grizz should not be still there on the wheel. Now I feel much better about reanimating in the next pack. Oh. Uh, Putrid Imp discards. I love Guardian Scalar. I think that card's fantastic, but, you know, obviously we're not playing it. Putrid Imp is fine. It's a discard outlet. I If we're going to cut either Putrid Imp or... Um, look, no one took the Kithian. Sad. Very sad. Little Stewie is dead now. You killed <laughs> Jesus. This got really dark. I thought I was just disappointed him. I didn't think I murdered him. Disappointment is murder for little Stewie. Uh, I like Bring the Light. I'll just take the Bring the Light. We don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. You know, we don't know what kind of world we're gonna be living in. I'll take the Blooming Marsh because it enables Leovold and Bring the Light. So sure. This is a very. This is a very interesting pack one. I don't know if there are any clear directions. There probably were. Neshoba Brawler. We got Glimmer Lens, Neshoba Brawler, and we could have had Kithian on the wheel. We could have just been like a sweet domain. Oh, there's a Time Walk. And a Demonic Tutor, and a Mana Crypt, and a Fourth Eerlingus. And a Bloodstained Mire. We're definitely getting something back from this pack, which is incredible. But now we have Time Walk and Time Warp. So I'm going to take the Time Walk. Going to walk it right into my deck. I'd love a card that reanimates a thing. That would be cool. Inti is very good. Um, well, I'm going to take Baleful Strix. We're in blue-black. We're not necessarily in red, and I don't trust my uh, ability to cast this on turn two. So Baleful Strix kind of does the job. Scalding Tarn is fantastic. So is Life Death. Scalding Tarn doesn't get anything yet, but there is a Steam Vents going around. Being said, going time spiral into treachery and a time walk or time walk or time warp. I'm gonna take the treachery. I'm just a sucker for treachery. I can also take Rafine's Tower, actually. It might just be Rafine's Tower. I actually feel better about Rafine's Tower. I gotta have some kind of fixing in this monstrosity. Uh Lorien Revealed seems great. I also do like Force of Negation here. Tarn is good, but a Tarn doesn't get us anything yet. So could have could have taken Tarn and maybe the Rafine's Tower comes back. Yeah, I'm going to take Lorien Revealed here. Again, it's kind of fixing. It gets us a Rafine's Tower. Subtlety is decent. I don't think we're doomsdaying. Although we do have Jace Wielder of Mysteries. That's interesting. Michael always says peps instead of peeps, and it always makes me laugh because I don't know what a pep is. Push is solid. I think I'd rather have subtlety here, though. Subtlety is just a decent threat, and it's also free sometimes. Mm, sunken Ruins. Oh, Sunken Ruins is perfect. I'll take it. The only other thing I could see in there was, like, Displacer Kitten, which is not exciting. Well, if we are reanimating, Triplicate Titan does a good job. That too many letters. <laughs> wow, full-on Kevin Malone moment here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take Triplicate Titan. We have a whole third pack, and we have three creatures to reanimate here. 
with this deck, I will definitely take Signets as well, or uh, Talismans, rather. You're still doing high-powered banking. Oh, Michael. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I've done any high-powered banking. My banking is significantly low-powered. Uh, just daze? Are we just going to daze them? I'll daze them. We could also take Nurtured Peatland, and they have Blooming Marsh in case we find a Leovold. I kind of like that. Hold on, let me let this kitty cat out of here. Well, this was our pack one. <sighs> Steam vents did come back, but I don't think we're casting any red cards. I think I just want Ophiomancer. This is 15 cards. I can see playing Putrid Imp. <laughs> yes, we're storming with Tali, Gristlebrand, and Trilligate Titan, Mind Twist. The answer was no. I'm very rarely a Storm player. It's just not my style of play. There's a Contagion. That's interesting. That's also a free card. Titan of Industry is also a, a thing to reanimate. This is decent with Thran Dynamo or I think we're just taking Manifold Key here. It could be good. There's a lot of combos with it. It's good with Thran Dynamo. It nets us five. It nets us two extra mana. Uh, I'll take Thespian Stage. Sure. Um, it's also if we get like Grim Monolith or Mana Vault, it's very good with those. If we get Fallen Shinobi, we can make it unblockable. There's a Crater Hoof. I'm going to take Terra Sunder. For the same reason we took Blooming Marsh and Nurturing Peatland. I wish this was a Zagoth Triome, but... Yes, we're still waiting for the reanimate spells, unfortunately. The only one we've seen is Life Death. That's the only one we've passed. And I passed it for a Tri-Land, which I think we desperately needed at the time. You know what? That guy's decent, too. Three, three, threes. That it's pretty much the same as Triplicate Titan. Wow, that's a late Teferi that I would almost be tempted to play off of, like Silent Clearing or Rafine's Tower. Oh boy, <laughs> Jesus, that's that's a bingo. Wow, that's uh. Okay, well, I mean, we're taking Ancestral Recall. That's like a time twist that it only targets you. So that's cool. If Creeping Tar Pit or Basalt Monolith comes back when we have Manifold Key, that'd be great. Dark Ritual would be fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now I have Time Walk, Ancestral, Time Warp, Time Spiral. It's all very good. All very good. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely adding that. That's a that's a that's a beautiful sound bite. Uh I do like a shield red. Fractured identity also banana's good. Snapcaster with ancestral and time walk just seems too good. <sighs> yeah, and if Sheldock shield red, fractured identity all come back, yeah, we're just taking snap. Also, if we do get like a reanimate or a Exhume, uh, it's pretty good. Fractured is crazy, but I'd rather have a second Ancestral or a second Time Walk. Plus, I don't want to be splashing more white cards when we only have two two white lands. Like, we have all four of these guys to reanimate, but where's the reanimate spells? Am I right? 
Because if we don't get reanimates, I don't know how we're winning. And this deck's pretty good, so I don't know what to do. Okay. Uh, Scrubland is interesting. Dak Faden is interesting. We have no red sources whatsoever, though, so I don't think we can take Dak Faden. That's unfortunate. I kind of just want Scrubland because it does open us up to taking more white cards with three white fixes. I don't think Yawgmoth does anything for us. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Scrubland. We only need three more playables, but I think they have to be good ones. Michael doing work. Lame. Okay, they're still giving us weird, weird, weird cards that are not uh, win conditions, you know? Hmm. Fascinating. And Dotha Trium is all the colors. It might just be Lotus Petal here. Oh, God. Or Odawara. Could also be lose focus. Just having a two-mana counter spell doesn't seem terrible. And I have not played with lose focus yet. All right, I'm going to take the lose focus. Oh my god, come on. Come on, reanimates. We're getting so, so close to just not having anything. Oh boy, is it Deluge? It's either, it might be Verdant. I think Verdant gets more things. Verdant gets all our colors. Jeez Louise, man. Oh, boy. It's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. It's not looking good. Is it just... It could just be Ugin? Shoulder's Edict also very good. Like Ugin can win games by itself. I just I'm I wondering how many of these creatures we're gonna have to take out if we're just not if we're just not reanimating. I mean we do have like Ophiomancer, Subtlety. That's it. Okay. Yeah, we have yeah. We have nine creatures, four of them are these guys. I do think that's... Oh, Dark Depths Thespian Stage is now online. <laughs> well, then. Is that just our plan? Okay, well. That's 23. I guess we have to cut some of these, though, because we're not playing them. I would probably keep Gristlebrand in. As just a man. So let's cut Gruff, Atali, and Triplicate. Wow, nothing. This is so wild, dude. I could also see just trying to pick up some red black lands or red X lands to just kind of cast Atali as well. Like a Restless Vent seems fine. This would be good if we had a sword, but you know, we didn't get that either. And another Ashen Rider. We got all the all the good components for for reanimate. We could have had a ton of good creatures. Creeping tar pit, basalt monolith. Dark ritual. Man, even dark ritual wield. I did not expect to be like three picks in this pack that were good. I think we just want Creeping Tar Pit, especially if we're trying to cast Ugin and Jace. Sheldok came back. So did Haunted Ridge? <laughs> Sheldok might be the pick here. I like the Haunted Ridge because it's giving us more ways to cast Atali, but I, the more I think about it, that might just be futile. Oh, 
man, if I had more red sources, the seeding song would be great. I don't think we're taking Imperial Seal, though. Actually, maybe we are. Is there a, is there a good reason to take an Imperial Seal? Sure, Imperial Seal might be. Oh, Lotus Lotus Petal's good. All right, that's a playable. Oh boy, this uh, this is a deck here. Good old Reclaw. What's wrong with Seal? Um, it's a sor it's a sorcery speed vampiric tutor. And but we can grab the combo with it. That's a very good point. I think we're just taking Shattered Sanctum. That's pretty good for this Teferi splash. Oh, Steel Seraph is actually just a fine guy. Like it's a three drop if we, okay. All right, I mean, I'm not dissatisfied with the number of wheels that came back there. This is 23. I could see cutting Manifold Key for something. Oh, Prismatic Ending actually. Yeah, I don't hate that. I think this is reasonable 23. And now we got Verdant, Thespian Stage, Sunken, Silent, Sheldock, Shattered. This one, Rafine's Tower, Creeping Tarpet. Like, this is a good amount of fixing. Our white sources are one, two, three, four, five. Five white sources, just naturally, for like three white cards. Yeah, and even if you Imperial Seal for like Ancestral, or if you have Jace out, you can Imperial Seal, draw the card immediately, or Teferi. All right. I mean, it's really sad that, like, Atali and Triplicate Titan are, are not even playable in our deck, but we do have a Gristlebrand and a Nugan, and I don't, f I don't feel like it's that impossible to cast. A lot of our lands are black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven black sources without any basics. It's pretty good. All right. Dark Depths can come out, too. You're not a land. All right. No counters, no removal to, to discard. What? We have literally... Lose Focus is a counter. Subtlety is a counter. Prismatic Ending is removal. Mind Twist is discard. Baleful Strict blocks. I mean, that's like... I, I think that's a totally reasonable amount. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think this deck is totally fine. <laughs> um, it's ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think we need a white source. I think we can actually just go five. So this is what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is ten, ten. That seems good. All right. Here we go. And away we go. I'm actually kind of surprised like so many of you guys think this deck wasn't isn't isn't that good. Like I think it's actually pretty decent. I mean double time walk, snapcaster, uh time spiral, gristlebrand and ugin, jace ancestral with snapcaster, dark depths combo, I don't know. Like Yeah, also Lorien Revealed is, is basically fixing or we just draw three at some point, so. Like, we could also deck ourselves and, and win with Jace as well. Like, that's not, 
impossible. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I can definitely see this deck losing or, like, not drawing the correct pieces in the right order, but I, I also don't think it's that bad. <sighs> Dark Depths makes this tempting because there's several draws that we can get. Yeah, I'll keep this. I mean, we have so many hits in our deck, like Time Walk, Ancestral, Despian Stage, Imperial Seal. Like, this is triple blue also. And this, like, this helps us so strongly for uh, Gristlebrand or Jace. Eugene. Look at that little guy. Shattered Sanctum, okay. I mean, this is a turn seven Eugene with Lotus Petal, guys. I don't know. Tracker and Oracle, they can play either. <sighs> Interesting. I think we want the Tracker. Having more lands is fine, but if you can't do anything with them, I don't really care as much. They're going to go tap, untap, tap, 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 oracle, play rot farm, bounce a land, play the land they bounced. Look, they did exactly like I said. Oh, they played a land first, and then they're going to play the rot farm. Okay. Bouncing forest, I bet. Got it. Forest Euro. And Oracle's gone. Well, that is their hand, isn't it? If we want a Lotus Petal here. Or we can just do it for two and save the Lotus Petal for something strong. I mean, Euro's not going to be... Them having three cards in the graveyard is not going to get them any closer to escaping Euro. They're still going to need two more cards in their graveyard. And they're going to crack Polluted Delta anyway, so it's not like... Hmm. Yeah, play this. I think we just Mind Twist for two here. <laughs> prime time and forest. Okay, so we know they have Delta in hand. Well, hitting prime time was pretty good. Yeah, I'd rather keep pedal because we have several five and six drops and being able to cast them a turn earlier seems really strong. Virtue of persistence seems good. So we know they have Euro in hand. So, Virtue, they're shuffling away Fatal Push. Now they have Nissa on top, which is pretty busted. They don't have Euro anymore. Okay, seems good. Now they have Tireless Tracker, <laughs> no Virtue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tireless in hand, drawing Nissa. Subtlety.
Okay. Yeah, I kind of like just keeping subtlety up here. Oko off the top. Wow, they're doing really well. This deck is really good. Oh, yeah. Do your little... Yeah, do that thing. Add to blue. And then we'll blow subtlety. See you later. Rafine's Tower, eh? I'm actually tempted to play, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm tempted to cycle Rafine's Tower and play Dark Depths here, but that seems a little slow. I think we're just playing Swamp and Cycling Tower. Maybe we do it now though. Hmm. Maybe. Like, if we hit time walk, I'll time walk. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Um, right. I'm going to cast this now because I don't think it's a risk. But also, if we need to, to counter Nyssa for, like, four, I think we want to do that. Six now. Yeah, we definitely have to counter this Nyssa. Well, it feels good because we didn't have to waste our Lotus Petal for it, so. And now we know they have Tireless and they're drawing Oko. Ancestor would be such a banger draw. I would also take like Time Walk or Time Warp or any, any of the walks. Bird and Catacomb, that does it too. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're one man away from from Eugene here, which is pretty good. Fingers crossed we still have a card we can get with this Verdant, though. You can get Scrubland. Because I'm like, we already have two swamps and the Rafine's Towers in there. It's The Virtue's not mine, it's theirs. Um, hello. <laughs> oh, there's my dear. Watson did a little tinkle outside of my office because I just totally forgot to take him out. And uh, Katie cleaned it up, and I, I feel bad because I was going to clean it up. She didn't have to do that. Then she took care of all our other pets, too, and it was just, just solid wife material, you know? Okay, so now they have neither of these, and they're drawing Oddity. So I am cracking this now because I think if we draw a land, that's great. If we don't draw a land, that's also fine. That's fine. Could have got scrub land there. I don't think it matters, but. Oh, really? Are we dead here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But if they play this, actually, we just have to survive here, right? If they play this guy, then we get to negative four and get rid of everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. They also don't have seven for this yet. But this guy just sitting here is very frightening. Let's 
What's the hold up here? Yes, whenever there's an exchange effect, if one of the targets is no longer in play, you cannot exchange them. What's the hold up here? What's going on? So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, I think I actually have to hit Oko. Because if they do, if they switch food for subtlety, then we take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, that's still the same, right? That's the same amount of damage. By switching subtlety, they're not attacking with this 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I actually think that's fine. If we attack Oko, they just make this guy a 3-3, three, three, and then they're attacking for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and plus it's possible they could actually... Oh, pest infestation. Well, that's going to be obnoxious. But actually... That's a good draw following um, following Ugin because if they do want to make a bunch of pests and we can also crack the food now and gain three extra life. So that's actually, I think this actually works out really well. <laughs> I'm actually, they tap too many. I'm actually quite thrilled with how this is going because they don't have any lands coming up. Yeah, just crack that, game three. You're gonna attack me for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go to eight, and then we get to Ugin, negative four, kill everything on board. They don't have a land coming up, so they're drawing a blank with Pest Infestation. They, they're they two away from casting Virtue after that. Yeah, this is good. Um, let's also play Dark, no, nah, we can just play Silent Clearing and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and save, the we don't need to save the Lotus Petal. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. This is actually insane. And they have no cards. They're drawing pest infestation. They can infestation for a bunch, then we just negative zero. Play Dark Depths in case we draw Thespian Stage. So they draw Pest Infestation. They can cast it for two, and then we just get to Ugin. That's fine. Ugin's not an artifact, so... Sometimes I wish he was, but he's not. So they don't have any of these. We can also crack this, draw a card. I feel like we're actually in pretty good shape. We could also just ignore the four. Deal them three and attack with the Tar Pit. And that puts them to five. Huh. Definitely playing that. Putting Gristlebrand underneath. Nope, just kidding. Uh, I think Teferi is probably better than Time Spiral here. They have zero cards, so. Let's play Clearing. We couldn't play Clearing because we did that. So, one, two, three. So Ugin goes up to five. which means they can knock him down to one. So they have to draw something here, like something that blocks Tar Pit or kills Ugin. That's true. Yeah, I, I can take off an ice counter. What did they top deck? So they get a land back, and then oh, we take two and they gain two? Wow, what a... Okay. They also don't have a second blue. 
And they got a forest, so they can't actually bring Euro back, which is nice. They also couldn't get Delta back because it would put them to six and that would kill them. Yeah, now since we're, I think we're just gonna, oh, they're just going face. Well, now we have to get rid of these little pests because we don't win this turn. But we do get to bring Teferi out. There's like, let's just draw Time Walker, Time Warp. Baleful Strix. Time Walker, Time Warp. Lorian Revealed. One, two, three, four, five. No, we're not doing that. I guess we're just playing this. One, two, three, activate. One, two. We're just going to play this and crack it to see if we can hit one more time. No. Okay, so we're going to zero this guy. Mana value X or less, that's one or more colors. So we'll say zero, right? And then we crack with this guy. One. Or do we just play Teferi here? We got to crack with this guy because, again, it gives us the win next turn. But then again, with this guy, we already have the win. Fascinating. One, two, three, activate. We're one shy. We could hit a land, though. So let's do that. Do this for double blue. Use the black. Do this. Uh, okay. Cast. Okay. Oh, we, we, we play land, though, this turn anyway, so that doesn't work. Draw. Okay. Time warp? Oh, still nothing. <sighs> okay. Well, we tried. Activated you. and yeah, we're just going to pass here. Because we still have lethal on board, so. Okay, so they're actually cracking to get a blue source so they can Euro, I assume. So they gain three. And Ugin can still XL Euro. Tefri can tuck their virtue. Yeah, I mean, Euro gains three, but they didn't have a second blue source at the time, so. Can't play around things they don't have. Sure. So they go to nine. I mean, again, we just have to draw time walk or time warp, both of which are in our deck. Ophiomancer, huh? Why are they, why are they, why am I getting ready to respond to everything? I don't understand. Okay, so. Oh, boy. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need four. We can play Lurian Revealed and still try to hit. And if that doesn't work, we have one, two, three, four. Cast. Oh, thank God. So, lightning bolt your face. One, two, time walk. Attack your face. Sometimes you got to reveal that Lorien, you know? Oh, I could just cast that guy. Uh, shoot your face. Shoot your beautiful face. 
One, two, three. Activate this guy coming at you. Gonna make me attack? Okay, that's fine. Oh, you got an answer? Wow. Okay. I mean, we could easily just do multiple things right now and not really concern ourselves with it, but... Let's draw a card. Chart course, sure. Snapper boy. How about that? Does that does that satisfy you? Okie dokie. Okay. All right, let's see what he gets first. Time walk, huh? Okay, that'll do, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. That felt like it went pretty well. Hmm. Fascinating. I will keep... I feel like this is probably going to be good for us. This is pretty good. Wow, this is a lot of things that are happening right now. They have two cards in hand, though, so, you know, that's something. Yep. I guess we're just going to go Rafine's Tower. Here's my play. <laughs> Your turn. I mean, we can just go this into this and then just do this on the next turn. Sure. <laughs> the problem with Fast Bond into, into nothing is that you have nothing, so... And now we just, oh, I meant to play this. This was the play. Do I just mind twist them for one? Probably. But then they get rid of this guy. No, you know, one, two, three, four, five. They had six mana last turn and they didn't play anything. I bet it, I bet their hand sucks. Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't play this. That's gonna That's gonna really tank our plans here. I mean, honestly, we could go Time Walk, play Thespian Stage, and then keep up Lose Focus, and then we get to go Dark Depths, and the odds of them having something are extremely low. But I don't actually see when we're going to use this otherwise, because we're just going to go Dark Depths into Thespian Stage, and unless we can do both on the same turn, it doesn't really matter. And Lose Focus for four is significantly better than Lose Focus for two. So, yeah, we'll do this. If they don't cast anything worthwhile, then we get to keep up Dark Depths and lose focus and just murder them on the next turn. Okay, just land? Great. This is this game's over. Like, we saw Fatal Push. Copying Rot Farm is something. You know what else is something? Making a 2020. <laughs> That's an interaction. <laughs> it's it's true. He's not wrong. I assume they crack their tri builder to thin their deck to find an answer for dark depths, but I'm not gonna give it to him. This is gonna be another situation where they're like, I'll make him do it. Copy this guy. Keep this one. Okay. And we get to keep up lose focus for four? Sure. Oh, they're really gonna make me they're really gonna make me turn it sideways. Are they gonna fatal push it? 
<laughs> Deal. <laughs> oh, Merit Lees, you sweet bastard. That was a good time. Yep. All right. <sighs> Having a good time. If you guys want to support the channel, subscribing or following is a great way to do it. If you guys have got some Twitch Prime subs, I would absolutely love it if you chose to use them on on me, you know, because I'm streaming and I'm, you know, doing doing the good things. So, yeah, do that. Do we Imperial Seal for, this, for Dark Depths? That would be fascinating, wouldn't it? Fascinating. Then we go Thespian Stage. Don't talk to me or my indestructible son ever again. We could just get, I would say get Ancestral, but then we're like, we're not going to hit a blue source. I don't think we do anything here. Marilage might be a lady. Who can say, you know? Oh, well, look, a lotus petal. Well, I'll be. Hmm. Isn't that something? If we get dark depths, we can activate next turn. Hmm, I don't hate that. Well, I guess we're going to do the thing. Lotus Petal kind of changed the plan because it gives us an extra turn, a turn earlier, you know? Savai so Trium. I don't like white. White is a, a color that can definitely deal with a Merit Lage. Solitude, Path, Swords. Lotus Petal is doing the good time warp impression. <laughs> oh, it true. Oh, okay. Well, that is not super exciting. All right, let's just go this guy. And this guy. And cross our fingers, you know? See what happens. See if we live. <laughs> oh, what a card. What a card. I like the way you die, boy. Wow. They're like, well, I'll draw my card. Okay, I didn't have it. Yep, seems good. <laughs> that hand wasn't even that good. No offense to the hand. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Don't make me sweat. Just, just if, if you don't got it, just let's go. Let's go to the next one. You know what I'm going to do. I know what you're going to do. Let's just go. Let's move on. Gentlemen's agreement, you know? Oh, boy. Good times. You guys were hating on this deck, too. You guys are savages. You guys wouldn't know a good deck if it bitch in the ass. You're another gentleman star, little Stewie. How would little Stewie, please? How would I even have cast a Sylvan Library? Unbelievable. He's gonna be like Lotus Petal, Blooming Marsh, Nurturing Peatland. Shall I go on? Oh, I mean, Dark Merit Lage doing some heavy lifting, but also the first game we won with a pretty sick Ugin, so. Yeah, I don't think we've drawn Time Walk. We've drawn, we drew Time Walk in the very last turn of, of the first game. 
Uh, we have not drawn an Ancestral yet. Here's a Thespian stage. Lorien is a good blue source. I'll keep this hand. And I might just get an island with it. Um, that's actually a Rafine's Tower. So let's go get a Rafine's Tower. Is Dark Depths uh, an island, do you guys know? It's it's in the water, so I assume it is. So I can go get it with Lorien. That's correct, right? Oh, I did turn to walk. You're right. That's true. I forgot because it was so underwhelming. I just time walked into second land or like thespian stage so I could actually do the combo faster. But Oh, I see. Well then. <laughs> Here comes Othari. Turn to Othari is just a just a win. Oh, this is an X spell. Yeah, that's pretty good too. I don't think we can beat that. Uh, I, I, I'm having a bad time. All right, we're gonna, gonna. I don't think there's no way we can beat this. That's insane. Yeah, turn to fourth year lingus into monarchy is pretty good. That is not gonna do it. I mean, I can't imagine the situation where we get a Nugent out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna. That's just the game. That's just the ball game. That's a bingo. Oh, um. All right. Honestly, Lorien revealed makes me want to keep this hand because we have Baleful Strix. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, if they don't do anything busted and degenerate, I feel f fine about it. We could also just draw an untapped land to Baleful Strix, which is fine. Let's yield to the end step. Okay. Okie dokie. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to go to eight, so we'll just do it during their upkeep. Or, I guess it doesn't matter if we do it during the upkeep or not. Sure. Okay, we're they're, they're living the dream here. Do 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 do. That seems good. All right, yeah, you can pretty much take whatever you want here. Now, I have lands and spells. We can also prismatic ending this because it costs one, so that's kind of cool. Snapcaster. And we hit a Gristlebrand off that? Okay, well, I can't put that guy into play for quite a while. Hmm. So, one, Prismatic. X is currently zero. What is this? Yes, XL and only impermanent if its mana value is less than or equal to the number of colors spent, which is one. Time walk. It was not time walk. Can you believe that? I would love a, a card we can play next turn. I don't really want to do nothing. <laughs> Although time walk into one of the... Jesus Christ. If they sack it for white, we're just dead. Okay, red. Inferno? Oh, just casting a troll. That's interesting. That is not that impressive. I 
Throwing Dynamo would actually be pretty good. It gets us into both of our big big cards. We do need another black for Gristlebrand, but that's okay. Hmm. I think we just Thespian Stage here in case we draw... Well, we can't block your guy, so I guess we're just attacking here. I mean, next turn, if they don't play anything good, we can just tuck that guy. They do have four cards in hand, though. Would love a subtlety here. That would be great. Him to Torok. <laughs> okay, the other black source. And uh, the Teferi that we needed to tuck that guy. Okay, well, we do get to... I'm actually tempted to copy the Rafine's Tower, but... I think we're a little far off from that. Just get Dark Depths here. Imperial Seal. Oh, we're one mana shy of doing the things we want to do here. We could just Time Warp. We could Imperial Seal draw Dark Depths next turn, and they have to have an answer in two cards. But the problem is if we don't time warp now, we're not gonna be able to do it next turn either. Actually, we would. We'd be able to go Dark Depths, time warp, yeah. I think we just time warp here. Get him. If we had one more mana, that would be great. Lose focus. That's pretty decent here, actually. Especially with Especially with with uh, Dark Depths coming up. Yeah, all right. Maybe we just win with Dark Depths. Let's find out again. <sighs> so we go to three. Hope they don't Lightning Bolt us, I guess. Oh, no. That's fine. Yes, excellent. Oh, we are definitely paying full price for Grizzly B. But we can make them pay eight with lose focus, so that's pretty cool. Oh, we can't we can't block this guy. Oh god. Yep, we just lost ourselves the game. We can't actually block this guy. I was thinking we would be able to block him, and that's not how that works at all. Yeah, that's too bad. That was just an oversight on my part, but Yep, that's a bummer. Oh well. I mean that was that was my own fault. Like we could have definitely searched for a different, a different card that actually deals with that guy. Um, <laughs> actually, I don't know if we had that much to deal with him. Like they, they, they luckily hit this off him to Torok, which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, we could get time walk. Yeah, we didn't really, we could time spiral. I guess we could have gotten time spiral and time spiral, but I don't want to give them seven cards. So, you know, I mean, that was whatever. I didn't look far enough ahead. That's my own fault. Uh, this hand seems good, except for the three lands that come into play at Taps, but we also have Shattered Sanctum, so. Or not Shattered Sanctum, Steel Seraph, which we can actually cast for three, which is pretty good. Yeah, I guess Ophiomancer does give us three blockers. <laughs> it's not the best, but they were also not super flush with cards, so. Ancestral Recall. Yeah, we'll start with Rafine's Tower, then we can play Island into Shattered Sanctum. That seems pretty good. Because that lets us chart a course into Steel Seraph. I don't actually, maybe, maybe we don't need to 
chart a course just yet. But we do have plenty of lands to discard. Yeah, that guy's good. That guy's real good. Yep. Hmm. Okay, okay. <sighs> Probably do want to chart a course here. We just have so much mana. That's pretty good. Um, okay, so what's our what's our Don't discard that, please. Oh my god. So we're gonna play this into this next turn. Or just Baleful Strix, actually. So I definitely want to keep these three. I think it actually might just be Verdant Catacomb. I kinda like Thran Dynamo into maybe this at some point. Yeah, that seems fine. Like all all Verdant can get right now is a Scrubland or a Swamp anyway, which I don't feel like we really need. We have three black sources as is. So I think we're playing this into this, maybe? Wow, they got a bunch of different... Dryad. They have a bunch of different ways to put mana into play. They didn't want to crack their... I guess they're... I don't know, maybe they could crack. I don't know. I could have explored here. Really, post-combat, huh? Okay. Dry, go away. Forest. Well, you play land this turn, right? So, yeah, that's great. Okay, now you draw the forest instead. Better for us. Black, this guy. If we play this guy, we could still go up to eight, but then we play land, so sure, we'll play this guy. Draw another land. Play Shelly D. Uh, definitely time walk. And we'll pass. This is actually great because it blocks either one of these creatures. They have one card in hand plus this forest. What's the hold up here? Oh, they got a they got an Ogre Caslam on top. Okay. So they play the land. They have five total mana here. They didn't do anything. They're gonna play this guy next turn, but he doesn't have haste. So that's good. Um, I am tempted to just play Thran Dynamo here. Hmm. Then they play this guy. How do we deal with that guy? Do we snap Charter Course here? I mean, I guess we can block it, but they're still going to trample over for like 10 million damage. I like Snap Charter Course. I just don't think it advances our board very much. And I'd like to get this down soon. It puts us down to 23 cards, which is closer. This doesn't have haste, though. So I do. I guess we do have a turn. Thran Dynamo into Seraph next turn seems decent. I think I'm doing that. Because they're not attacking this turn, so that's good. 
And then next turn, if we snap, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, which means if we draw Ugin or Gristlebrand, we can cast them. Uh, Sunken Ruins gives us the four black. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, Manager Kazlim. Now you have Tireless on top. This is Kazlim, that's right? Yeah, okay, cool. All right. Ooh, Subtlety. That would have been good last turn. Well. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we have 8 mana. Hmm. Do we just play Steel Surf as a 5 4 to block? They get to look at like two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Leaves us with two mana. We can also keep Subtlety Snapcaster up. That feels okay. Snap chart, then time walk. <laughs> Uh, we wouldn't have enough though. Snap chart is only putting us down to 22 cards. We'd be two cards shy. I was like, is that because we're hitting time walk? No, we'd have to, we have to wait like an extra turn to do that. Well, they're definitely gonna play Tireless Tracker. I'm wondering if Subtlety and this guy as a 3-3 three, three is just better. Sorry guys, this is, this is a complicated choice. We have eight total mana. I'm just, I also don't know which land I wanna play. We can't play Subtlety and Snap Chart because this would have to be two mana instead. Um, Cause we can go one, two, three, four, and then we have one blue and three colorless. So that's not an option. Could play this guy off of like one, two, three, play another blue, keep up subtlety for their tracker. And then like double block here. Activate only if you control 10 or more permanents and as a sorcery, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like they would just be able to get it back. Oh, that's kind of a pain. Yeah, I think we're just going to play this guy. Cast him as a man. And we'll play Creeper, and we'll just keep up Subtlety. I don't think it's great. Give this guy Vigilance. Get in there for one. I mean, it means they get to look at the top three cards. No, two cards, because we're blocking. We could also just block with Baleful Strix and keep this guy alive. <sighs> That's fine. They have no other cards in hand. I don't really care about that. I'm also wondering if we just let it connect. That ah, doesn't seem good, right? But like, this is six damage, then we time walk, that's another six damage. Yeah, this just doesn't feel good. When deals combat damage to play really that many cards off the top of your library. So you reel six cards. But then they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten permanents. So they can actually flip it. Not this turn. They have to wait till next turn, because they only have three mana right now. And then it comes into play tapped. So they wouldn't we wouldn't have to worry about it next turn or the turn after. I do worry about losing this much power though. Especially when we have a time walk coming up. 
going to block with this guy. I'll, I'm going to let him go five. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to take the gamble. Ugh. I don't love this. <laughs> yep. They get to look at five. One is exploration. All right. Emrakul was the next card. Oh, wow. That is something. So they gain a life. What did they hit? They hit Mountain and Lotus Cobra. I guess it doesn't matter. None of these matter anymore. So they're drawing Emrakul. Wow, I'm really glad I didn't let that connect. Yeah, Lotus Cobra doesn't seem like the worst here. Holy crap. This is a hell of a board they have. If we can draw an Ugin, <laughs> I think we're in good shape. Oh, Lord. Crack a clue, draw an Emrakul, right? Okay, sure. Cradle. That's a good one. Wow, that actually was at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They're one mana shy of just casting Emrakul next turn. Okay, then you draw the Cradle. And on top we have Forest. Okay, you're drawing Forest next turn. That is fine. I accept. Don't love it. Yeah, you can subtlety Emrakul, but... Really, they played Forest instead of... Did they play the Forest from their hand instead of the top of their library? Wait, what? But they have two cards in hand, and we know they drew Emrakul and Cradle. So we, they we was the for oh the forest was on top. I think that wasn't in their in their hand yet. So that's fine. Yeah, they're really taking over. Can you subtlety me? I can, but it's because of your nipples, not despite them. So. I mean, we're not dead yet. So they're drawing Forest and Oracle. Those, that's what we know is in their hand. Great. So this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 with Cradle, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. They still got to take an extra turn, so like they would just cast... Oh, Jesus God. <laughs> oh, wow. They're really... They're coming to life here. Time Warp. Island. Sounds good. Um... Yeah, that's that's a thing, isn't it? We have to chart a course here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine total mana. This is five. I don't think it matters. Oh, dear Jesus. Vigilance. All right. Block with that bird, I dare you. Doesn't matter. They have through the breach. This is actually an uphill battle for sure, my dudes. Okay, so we're gonna go this, this, play this, and this, and then we're snapping. Casting. 
<laughs> Lotus Petal Dark Depths. Okie dokie. And we have 21 cards in our deck. Yep, that'll do. All right. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's not very good, is it? Hmm. I'll keep this. Let's go get a Rafine's Tower as usual. Turn two Baleful Strix. Ugin gives us a little late game guarantee here, which might be good against them. It's good to know they have Through the Breach and Emrakul. This, this deck is bad. Cool. Solid comment. Hmm. Lotus Cobra. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm, chart of course, eh? I'm just going to keep loose focus up here. Depending on what they play, like they could try to cast something big, and I'd rather not have them resolve it. Yeah, if it's like Oracle, we're definitely countering it. Yep, okie okay, dokie. Okay. And if they attack, we'll definitely block as well, so. Mm. 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 No, okay. Great. Steel Seraph. Do you do anything? Not really. Okay, um, we'll shell dock here, put Ancestral underneath, that seems juicy. And then next turn we can play Ophiomancer, eventually play this guy. That's pretty good. Interesting. It's a deep cavern bat, huh? One, two. Okay. You have an Ugin and a Through the Breach and a Sentinel. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm definitely taking the Ugin. We're definitely playing this guy. And we're definitely attacking Nyssa here, I think. This is the second. We're currently 1-1. Down a game. I mean, our deck is definitely missing some components. We tried to be reanimate. Did you just really draw an Emrakul? <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'll see you next time.